I feel conflicted about giving stuff away for free. On one hand, I feel like life sometimes kicks people a little too hard and they can use the pick me up. And on the other hand, I feel like when you give something away for free, you could be robbing someone of the satisfaction they get from when they earn it themselves. That's why when I give away stuff now, I try to do it with a good reason. This is Evie, and she's gonna be receiving a computer that I built for her. And I have a good reason for giving it to her, but the reason is something that is so important to me that it didn't feel right to sit here and explain it to you at my gaming setup. Like, it doesn't bother me that much because this is something that at almost 30 years old has been bothering me for, I guess, my whole life. So without further ado, here is why this random girl in Canada who I have never met before is getting a PC. Recently, I was trying to read this self-help book because I was trying to help myself. I saw this one line that was super inspiring and it said, every day you get 1% better or 1% worse. And it was basically talking about how every day you make these little choices that compound and to a bigger result. And at first I was totally behind it. I was like, yeah, if you go to the gym every day, you know, eventually you're gonna be in shape. Or if you invest a little bit of money every time you get a paycheck, when you retire, you're gonna have a lot more to fall back on. So the concept seemed super positive to me, but then I was sitting at lunch with my sister. We were talking and talking the whole lunch. And then I realized as we were walking out that I had just had the most useless and meaningless conversation that I think I had ever had. I wanna be clear, I don't hate my sister, but it just felt that we ate our food and we didn't really talk about anything that mattered. At first it only bothered me a little, but then my brain, which loves to give me the most positive thought at every given moment was like, every day you get 1% better or 1% worse. So on the drive back, I tried cramming quality time, asking her things like, how are you doing? Are you happy? Is life what you expected it would be? And the conversation just didn't work at all. And to be honest, it makes sense because me and her don't really have that kind of relationship. And then when I asked myself why I don't have a better relationship with my sister, my brain came in again like a superhero. It was just like every day you get 1% better or 1% worse. And that's when it hit me that I have compounded a very shitty relationship with my sister. We may not hate each other, but we don't know what's going on in each other's lives. Not to any actual meaningful detail. And in my opinion, we both live a very pathetic reality of what it's like to be a brother and a sister. But that's not her fault. And I don't blame her in the slightest. When we were growing up, we were yelled at a lot. We weren't necessarily expected to be perfect, but we were expected to be as close as possible to it. My dad would yell at us all the time. And when my sister had enough of my dad, what would I, the only other male presence in her life, do? Ignore her, treat her like shit, and not listen to anything that she had to say when she had a complaint or when she wasn't feeling well. It's not like I wanted to be a horrible older brother, but we were both just so busy competing to be the best in what our parents expected us to be. And I was probably so jealous of the treatment she got being a younger sibling that I'd never even noticed that I was just torturing our relationship. And so now my dad is passed away 
my mom lives on the other side of the world and my sister who lives with me being the only family that I have left is a very dry and non-existent relationship. I've said that a million times already. My point is that nowadays when I see siblings fight over something small like a toy, most people are gonna see that and think that it's cute or it's funny. But for me, I can't help but wonder if that is something that turns out to be what I have with my sister now, 10 or 20 or 30 years from whatever they're going through at the moment. Even if it's the smallest thing, I worry about it. That's why when uh, I saw this tweet last week on my timeline, what most people probably saw as cute and relatable, I saw as a potential moment in time where if something changes, it could completely alter the course of that relationship going forward. I know it sounds stupid to most people, and if you're still listening to this, you probably think that it's not that deep. And if you are one of those people, I get it. It's just that almost 30 year old me hates, like I, I hate my relationship with my sister and I don't want that for anybody else. There's not a lot of things that I care about. Not because I'm sad, but because as you get older, you start to realize that there are only a few things in life that you should actually spend your time giving a fuck about. Evie. Yeah. Do you remember uh, like a few Come months closer, ago when you Evie. asked me on Discord for a computer? Oh dear. Yeah. Yeah? What this, did you say? This is weird. Yeah. Uh, I said if I could have a computer. Why? Because I wanted to play Valorant. And you wanted to go pro, right? Yeah. Okay, well, my friend Chris built you a computer. So go downstairs and check it out. Wait. Wait, 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 wait. Oh my! <laughs> wow! Wow! Thank you! So after she got the PC, her and her brother played some Valorant per my request, and then Evie sent me this message. Thank you so much, Chris, for this brand new PC. Thanks for helping my uncle out. And um, I think I'm ready to go pro now. Now, before I respond to you, Evie, I do need to say thank you to Intel because without them, this video would not have been possible. And in this video specifically, we are featuring their Intel Arc Series cards, which is the same card that's inside your PC. I mean, this probably goes without saying, but this is by far the coolest presentation I've ever had for a computer part in my entire life. If you're in the market for a new graphics cards, there are a few reasons why you should check out the Intel Arc Series cards. Number one is the encoding. Not only do these graphics cards have quick sync, but they also have AV1 encoding. If you have no idea what I just said, let me explain it in simple terms. With AV1 encoding, you can record video files and keep them at a much smaller size while still retaining really good quality. This is gonna save you a ton of space on your drives. On top of that, right now, if you are a streamer, the quick sync encoding option in OBS or other broadcast software is actually better than NVENC. So if you're looking to do some content creation, it's definitely something you should consider. The second reason, which is huge, is that these cards are budget friendly. Unfortunately, we live in a timeline where people are getting numb to the fact that graphics cards cost above a thousand dollars to play top tier games and that is something that should change friendly reminder a thousand dollars plus for a graphics card is a lot of money. If you're looking for something that is budget friendly and still meets your gaming needs, Intel Arc cards are something that you need to take a look at. These are great cards for the price. And if you're new to PC building and you're looking to pick up something new for yourself, please check them out. Okay, so Evie, listen up. I don't care if you go pro. I know that sounds mean, but hear me out. I think it's amazing that you have the ambition to do it. And if it's something that you're really passionate about, I support you completely. Look, what I care about more than anything is what I hope that computer will do for you and your brother's relationship. Long story short, I love my younger sister. I support her as much as I can right now, but that doesn't negate the 20 plus years of me not being a good brother to her in the past. I wasn't horrible, but I definitely didn't try to make time to spend with her like I did for some of my other friends, which is a shame because those are years that I should have spent solidifying my relationship with her as her older brother. A lot of people, including myself, have this weird view of family members where we feel like we can treat them worse or get away with treating them poorly because they're family. I am guilty of that and I wish I wasn't. I look back and I wish I spent time with her. We had things in common that we could have done together 
We just didn't. So when I saw your uncle's tweet, my initial reaction was, I do not want that for them to. Look, the computer is yours now. You do whatever you want with it. But please, do me a favor. Play Valorant with your brother once in a while. And if he's watching this, I hope that he makes the time to play with you too. You guys don't have to be best friends, but show that you care about each other enough to where you're willing to spend some time together.